Akshay Kumar, Infra Projects Limited Q2 and H1 FY24 earnings conference call. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. Before we begin, a brief disclaimer. The presentation which J. Kumar Infra Projects has uploaded on the stock exchange and their website, including the discussions during this call, contains or may contain certain forward-looking statements concerning J. Kumar Infra Projects, business prospects, and profitability which are subject to several risks and uncertainties, and the actual result could materially differ from those in such forward-looking statements. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Kamal Gupta, Managing Director, J. Kumar Infra Projects Limited. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kamal Gupta. On behalf of J. Kumar Infra Projects, I welcome everyone uh, to the Q2 and H1 FY24 earning conference call of the company. Joining me on this is Mr. Nalin Gupta, MD, uh, Madan Biani, CFO, and our IR team. I hope everyone had an opportunity to look at our results. The presentation and press release have been uploaded on the stock exchanges and our company's website. The company is at an inflection point in terms of its corporate personality, strengthening its capacity to sustain growth in terms of order book and overall performance. FY24 has been historic for us so far in terms of order awarding. We have been awarded projects worth 7,188 crores in the current fiscal with five more months to go and are currently L1 in projects worth 1,640 crores. We continue to grow in operational and financial capacity, back down our powers in bidding eligibility, has paved the way for securing these transformative projects, positioning us as a reliable partner in the industry. With the ability to execute larger projects, we have embarked on a venture that reshape, landscape, and elevate urban experiences. Our in-house equipment bank stands as a testament to our self-reliance, ensuring the swift progression of projects and efficient resource allocation. Timely completion and attribute we hold dear. Six volumes of our commitment to delivering results, exceeding expectations and honoring our promises. Our proficiency in executing complex and challenging infra projects uh, demonstrate our specialized capabilities and mark us as leaders in this intricate domain. Uh, coming to the highlights, like uh, we have been awarded Goregaon Mulu Link Road project by BNC for a total project cost of 6,300 crores, wherein Jekumar share is 3,088 crores, excluding GST. The project is uh, design, construction, and operation of twin tunnel from Film City Goregaon to Mulu, including box tunnel that is cut and cover at Film City. We have also been awarded uh, Chennai Elevated Corridor by NHI for a total project cost of 3,570 crores. Crores excluding GST. Project includes construction of double picker uh, four lane uh, elevated corridor from Chennai port to Madravel in Tamil Nadu. Uh, total four packages on EPC mode under Bharat Mala for Yojana uh, of NHI. Uh, coming to the performance highlights of Q2 FI 24, the revenue from operations uh, for Q2 FI 24 has gone up by 9% to 1,104 crores as compared to 1,013 crores in F uh, Q2 of FI 23. The operating margin for Q2 uh, has gone up by 10% to 160 crores as compared to the previous year and the margin stands at 14.5% as compared to 14.4% in the previous quarter of uh, year. Uh, the path for Q2 FI 24 has gone up by 9% to 73 crores as compared to 68 in Q2 of FI 23. And the pack margin stands at 6.7%. Uh, coming to the highlights of F1, H1 FY24, the revenue from operations for H1 FY24 has gone up by 11% to 2,236 crores. And the uh, operating margin has gone up by 12% to 321 crores. Uh, and pack for H1 FY24 has grew by 13% to 146 crores as compared to 129 crores in the preceding year. Our total order book uh, as of 30th September 23 stood at 16,447 crores 
the order book uh, includes metro projects elevated underground contributing 32% elevated corridors flyovers contributing to around 31% and road tunnel uh, projects contributing around 27 and others like buildings and all contributes around 10 percent we also uh, apart from this uh, 16,447 crores uh, we got an we got two orders uh, amounting to 530 crores in q3 and we also l1 in 1640 crores uh, as of now uh, we can now begin the question and answers thank you Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone phone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Gunit Singh from CCIPL. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. Thank you for this opportunity. So, uh, our order, order book is uh, around four times our um, annual revenues currently. So, I mean, uh, looking at the current size of our order book, uh, what kind of uh, top line and bottom line, uh, I mean, can we expect for the second half of FY24? Well, so for the uh, H2, we expect uh, the revenue guidance that we had made of around 4,800 crores with an EBITDA of around 14 to 15 percent. Uh, as the new order book that we are discussing about uh, will start generating revenue from FY25, and there will be only a marginal contribution that will be coming up in. Uh, Q4. So uh, for the current year, there won't be any uh, major uh, major difference in the guidance that we have been expecting. But yes, from FY25, uh, we are hopeful of having an improvement in the top line that we had uh, guided for the uh, financial year FY25. So can you please repeat that guidance again for FY25? So FY25, we had given an uh, upward rise uh, to of around 15 uh, of around 15 uh, percent in terms of the top line, and uh, now we expect uh, it should be around in the range of 16 to 17 percent. All right. So basically, uh, around 15 percent uh, increment over 4800 here. 4800. All right, fifteen percent improvement. Uh, I mean, growth over 40, uh, 4800 CR, right? Yes. So, uh, and you would appreciate that as the base keeps increasing, there would be the growth happening on the uh, last year's top line. Uh, is a uh, it, it increases substantially as compared to the lower uh, top lines of the company, which happened in the previous year. Right. Right. Uh, that is great. So, uh, what is the execution period of our entire uh, 1600 crore order book? So, it ranges from three to five years uh, uh, period. Some projects are three years, some are four years, some are five years. But on an average, uh, as we are an urban player, we can consider four to five years as an average time period for uh, the entire order book. All right, that is great. And looking at the current pipeline, uh, what kind of uh, order book would be closed uh, uh, towards the end of FY24? What do you anticipate? So we had given a uh, order book guidance of around 12 to 13,000 crore by the end of uh, fiscal year FY24, which uh, we would like to uh, revise it to around 16,000 crore, uh, which is uh, as we are already L1 in uh, good uh, value of order books that we have seen. So there would be a upward guidance rise uh, to, to the tune of around one third, that is 30% uh, percent increase in the order book that we had anticipated. All right, so all right. Closing at FY25 close to around 16,000 crore is what we expect. All right, that is great. By FY24, yeah. The, that is great. Uh, that's all from my side. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Shravan Shah from Dalat Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, sir, and uh, congratulations on uh, uh, strong order inflows. 
सर जस्ट टू क्लैरिफाई दिस टू एल वन ऑर्डर ऑफ सिक्सटीन फोर्टी ऑन करोड़ कैन यू हेल्प अस विच आर दिस टू प्रोजेक्ट्स सर नॉट टू प्रोजेक्ट्स सर फोर प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड लाइक यू नो वन इज लाइक ऑफ एम एम आर डी विच इज ए फ्लाईओवर फ्रॉम वेरी वेस्ट टू जेवी लाट कॉस्टिंग अराउंड थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स क्रोर्स एंड द सेकेंड प्रोजेक्ट इज एट डेली of from bcc that like mm-hmm. a delhi transport corporation uh, depot costing 270 crores and another one again is of hari nagar colony of bcc bcc costing around 1 crore hello uh, yeah sir uh, yeah sir and the fourth project is of a elevated corridor uh, from ground southern front to saida pet at chennai so that is costing 500 crores so uh, uh, sir the 1640 uh, uh, sir uh, the third one uh, harinagar building you said 521 crore yeah 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 okay uh, got it so now uh, so considering so if i if i uh, look at so uh, 7188 uh, crore we have received plus this 1600 crore Uh, so uh, 8800 uh, odd crore uh, inflow is already there uh, so how much more are we now looking at to uh, back by end of march so like first of all the 1650 40 crores project has to be converted to orders so this will be done in coming uh, time and like you know we are bidding we will be bidding for around 25 to 30000 crores of projects in coming 69 months uh, So let us hope what uh, what comes. So like we are expecting a, as uh, Nalini also told, uh, by closing FY24, fifteen thousand crores of uh, order inflow by the end of the second quarter. Sixteen thousand crore of order inflow. Total order book, order books. I'm so sorry. Uh, so 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 uh, so uh, again just to uh, clarify. So. Uh, uh, in terms of the, I'm I'm particularly asking on the inflow front. <clears throat> so how much more? Uh, so as you mentioned, twenty-five thousand to thirty thousand crore are we uh, we are planning to build in six to nine months. So roughly, uh, can we can we assume uh, four five thousand crore uh, is is uh, one can assume to to be uh, received by end of March. So Shravan, what we are trying to say is that we should be surely closing close to sixteen thousand crore by end of FY twenty-four, and the pipelines in the project will be bidding on different dates. Again, the tender needs to be opened. We, if we are L1, again uh, the process. So it's a long process. So for FY24, we give a target now of a revised order book, which is on the upside by around 30%, which is 16,000 crore as against 12,000 crore what we had uh, anticipated and we had uh, given a guidance for. So these order books are subject to when the tenders are submitted. You should be L1. So committing right now on those numbers, we are not adding on to the order book guidance as of now. So this is with the current order book that we have bagged and we are L1 into where we uh, anticipate to stand at a order book of 16,000 crore by end of FY24. I hope this is clear now. uh got it sir uh, and then broadly this 25000 30000 crore uh, uh, that we are planning to build uh, uh, broadly if you can uh, uh, break it up into uh, segment of flyover building metro road water uh, broader number uh, would would help so it's basically around major oh. order uh, this uh, bidding would be in the process of uh, the uh, ex- uh, express highways your some metro projects that we have been building in Bhopal in Kanpur and uh, some indoor tenders are there bombay metro is what we are expecting to build in this coming 6 months time so and also some uh, this projects are, are for building sector and also roads and tunnels okay okay got it uh, second sir when we uh, uh, when we said that uh, 15% uh, revenue growth for this year and next year Uh, we are we are just uh, showing a 16 to 17 percent kind of uh, 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 revenue growth for FY25. Uh, 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 so uh, even even one can assume because last time we have talked about uh, 18 to 20 percent kind of a growth for 25 and 26 also. Uh, so how one can uh, uh, look at? Uh, is it the uh, much lower number that conservatively we are looking at 16, 17? But uh, one can can. 
uh, practically if everything goes well we can see a, a closer to 20% kind of a, a, a revenue growth for even uh, 25 26 so that's one like you know uh, we are already uh, maintaining what we are saying and like you know uh, we believe in surpassing what we say or what we give the guidance so the are like in from 4200 to 4500 crores, we are uh, 4200 to 4800 crores. We'll be doing the FY24, and as well, into like instead of 15 percent, we target we are targeting 16 to 17 percent of growth in FY25. So, let's see as the time goes, like you know, on the uh, couple of quarters, we'll see what is the ramp up in execution and hope for the best. And then on the margin front, when we are, are saying, uh, uh, this year definitely 14 15 percent, so one is already 14.4 but uh, uh, last time also we said uh, uh, we will be likely to see a, a 50, uh, 150 bps uh, improvement in EBITDA margin in uh, over two years. So can we uh, uh, start seeing that improvements in FR25 itself, maybe a 50, 70 bps improvement in EBITDA margin in FR25? Yeah, so like right now what we are doing is 14.4% to 14.5 and like you know, as uh, rightly told, we are also targeting a 1% increase in coming eight quarters. So seven to eight quarters, and let's like, like you know, you should see some impact in the coming years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second, on the on the uh, broadly on the date front and working capital. So this quarter we have seen the uh, working capital has increased, particularly the uh, payables actually has reduced uh, uh, 200 odd crore, and that's why the working capital increase and the date has also increased close to 120 odd seven crore. So uh, how one can look at so what's the revise? Uh, uh, guidance on on these numbers because on the date front we were looking at uh, 550 600 crore uh, so currently 643 crore date. Mr. Madan, we are yeah, having uh, this. Uh, so, well, uh, working capital see on quarter and quarter there will be little bit uh, eight nine number of days up and down or so. But date payable as you see like in a in a Q1 uh, uh, these uh, were a little uh, higher that time. But uh, Q2 last year if you see it was only 550 crore. So vis-a-vis -vis that, we are at 425 crores. So we have been able to reduce 125 crores by some innovative methods of uh, bit discounting, payables and all, and helping our suppliers and vendors to uh, complete projects faster and all. Uh, trade issues also, we have been able to reduce uh, by 80 crores from June uh, 24. And, uh, and then uh, inventory, we have been able to reduce by 40, 30 odd crores. So, so <laughs> these are like, see, we are playing with such a large order book and uh, some projects, some numbers, some papers, some numbers going in there. So working capital, our larger target is to bring it down to 120 days. Okay, and then on the date front, sir? Sorry? <laughs> on, the, on the date, uh, 643 crore uh, gross date that we have currently. So, uh, so at the same time, uh, GMLR, uh, the tunnel uh, capex, uh, uh, 300 to 350 odd crore, we will uh, have to spend. So, how we look at the this date level by end of this year and uh, uh, FR25 and 26? Uh, uh, broadly, how one can look at the date level? The of GMLR will not uh, come in this year. First of all. Uh, the machine will take a long time uh, to uh, to get manufactured and delivered and all. So it will it will come somewhere around uh, not even at FY25 maybe FY25 end of FY25 or so. But uh, seeing our debt equity ratio currently even at 0.27, we were at 0.22 at June quarter, and uh, even after having this uh, PSL exposure and uh, which we will come back to on that. And uh, we are quite comfortable. 0.27 debt equity ratio in an EPC company is, uh, is very uh, healthy, and uh, uh, business grow, debt will grow. Uh, so we are comfortable on that. Uh, so we are not expecting uh, a reduction at least by March. Uh, uh, this number is is fine. Uh, yeah. So by March uh, 24, we are looking for, for a debt of around 650 crores only. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. And just uh, three numbers on mobilization, advance, uh, uh, retention money, and unbilled revenue as on September. Mobilization advance stands at 445 crores. Uh, as of two, uh, and we are actually informing that reduced from uh, uh, 532 crores to 445 crores. We have been able to settle some of our liability against the revenue bills. And secured deposit receivable is at 254 crores. Secured deposit payable is at 234 crores. Anything else, you have? 
सॉरी रिटेंशन मनी यू सेड टू फिफ्टी फोर करो थैंक यू सो मच द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द लाइन ऑफ प्रेम खुराना फ्रॉम आनंद राठी शेयर प्लीज गो है hi sir uh, thank you for taking my question and congratulations strong orders there during the year uh, so just want to understand i mean given the fact that it's been fairly strong for us I mean, in terms of new order additions and we are targeting and have take our order backlog to almost around 16000 odd crore rupees by this year and would that need you to go and seek a more fund based or non fund based limits because i mean you would have to extend guarantees plus next year Uh, I think I mean you would have to incur capex for GMLR as well. So, so would you would you need to kind of go and seek more uh, limits from your con- uh, from your consortium uh, lenders? Well, so they uh, will be surely needing uh, more limits uh, to be sanctioned for bank guarantees, LTs, working capital, etc., as well as term loans. So, uh, for the Chennai uh, project, uh, elevated corridor already we have. Close the bank closure with uh, SBI, and uh, SBI was very keen on uh, uh, this uh, closing the entire limit uh, on a standalone basis, which has been done for GMLR. Again, we have received sanction of only uh, 50 percent of the requirement that we need for the project. So uh, we will be surely needing that, and as and when the pro- uh, project is uh, proceeding, we will be taking the limits. But for GMLR, the capex requirement or working capital requirement to the bigger extent would not be coming up in this fiscal year and uh, as mr madan has already informed that uh, we be need the machine will be coming somewhere by uh, after 15 to 16 months from now so the capex and term loan that's required for tdm would be happening only after that and uh, so the limits it will be increased and uh, we are very comfortable in managing this thing With the current debt equity ratio of just 0.27, the, uh, where the company stands, uh, I think we get a good financial deal from most of the bankers as we have never let them down. Sure. And sir, on the GMLR, I mean, given the fact they are saying uh, tunneling machines would be required 15, 16 months hence, so fair to say, I mean, a large part of revenue recognition would start once I mean we have tunnels in place. Till then, I mean, you would have to make sure that you do your ground work and then have shafts in place and then. Once, once the TBMs are lower, which is when we will get to have a significant uh, ramp up in the, the the revenue contribution from this project. Yeah, so Dave, you rightly mentioned that you know in this entire project of GMLR, which is around six thousand three hundred crore, around seventy percent, close to like sixty five seventy percent, comes in from the tunnel because out of the entire length of around seven kilometers. Around five kilometer, uh, close to around five kilometer is the tunneling work. So this revenue recognition will only start for the seventy percent of the component component after like twenty twenty one months from now. Sure. Okay. And that's why we are giving a uh, we are not uh, very uh, we do, we are not giving a guidance of twenty twenty five percent growth. That's the reason because even the base is increasing and these works will start contributing after like 2021 months from now in the in a sizable manner. So we would be booking some revenues uh, by the end of the year or in the uh, in FY 25 I would say. Sure. And how about Chennai the four uh, NHI APC packages? When do we expect to start booking numbers from uh, those four packages? Because when I look at the order backlog, it's flat on a sequential basis, so it seems that we still not start booking numbers from that. So when do we expect to kind of uh, see these these four projects start contributing? Yeah. So we are expecting the appointed date uh, by mid of November uh, coming. So mm-hmm. when the meter starts and like you know. Uh, Q4 will see some revenue, you know, because it's in the mobilisation stage as of now, and uh, we'll be bringing some capex towards that as well. And uh, so, major revenue will start for FY 24, 25. Uh, the work will be started from next month only uh, in terms of mobilising, not the actual work, because the survey and soil initiation work is already on. So, in Q4 we'll see a little contribution from uh, Chennai project. 
Pakistan. And so would you be able to share the land status with these four packages? I mean, where are we in terms of how much ROW is already made available to you and how much more is required to be able to kind of go and seek uh, AD? I mean, generally, I mean, you get to have AD once we have 80% uh, ROW in place. So where are we today, I mean, in terms of uh, right of way as of today? So you are talking about the Chennai project, the four packages. Yes. And like, you know, yeah, yeah. Three packages already have more than 90% of the land. So that's why we are taking the appointed date from mid of uh, November. One package is having like 86% of the land. So by another couple of months, I think by December, uh, we should get the appointed date for that as well. So, so this, this 90 and 86, these are 3Ds or uh, 3G or 3H? What do you mean by that? Sorry? No, so 3D is essentially wherein the notification is given, the land is yet to be acquired. 3D is when I mean, why send the letters, and 3H is when the payment is made. So, uh, I mean, uh-huh. technically. Okay, okay. So, I won't be able to give the exact update on that, my dear. Uh, no. Frame, but, like, you know, the land for like this, uh, out of three, two packages are having 100% of the land. Oh, okay, sure. One, sure. Yeah, yeah. So one, one is having 95, 90 something. So one is, okay. the other one is 86. So the land wise, there is no issue in the Chennai. Sure. So, so the net debt number is not I think I am not sure I am to get that number earlier in the call. 97. Uh, 97. And how about unbuilt? And also, if you could help me, uh, unbuilt revenue is not as of as of uh, Q2 end. You it's five five fifty five crores. Five fifty five crores. And uh, any change in CapEx guidance? I think we were looking so we spent around thirty three crores in first quarter. How much did we spend in Q two and how much are we expecting for the for the, the balance of the year? Sixty two crores we have spent in H one. Okay. And uh, we think that uh, will be around hundred and fifty crores total for the year. Uh, including our incremental capex and some capex will come for uh, Chennai budget. Okay, but this 150 would include Chennai or Chennai would be over and above this? So uh, it can be like, you know, 150 to another 30, 40 crores plus uh, for this year. So not more. Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you and all the very best of future. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> The next question is from the line of Nikhil Kanodia from HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, and uh, congratulations on strong uh, other inflows. Uh, so, a few of my questions have been answered. Uh, so, uh, on the basis of the uh, orders that they have received, so uh, what would be the current uh, fund base and non fund base limits that we have with us and the uh, utilization of uh, those limits? Well, we have a fund based limit of around sanction limit of 967 crores and utilized is 436 crores. That is around 45% fund based has been utilized. And for non fund based, uh, we have a limit of around 3600 crores, where around 2500 crores has been utilized. So, uh, Nikhil, it could be around 71%, and total uh, utilization is 67% on an average basis. Okay, okay. And, and, and uh, uh, as on date, uh, the uh, author of the total order book that you have mentioned, what would be the uh, percentage of the order book which is under uh, execution? Which is under? Execution. So, uh, like uh, like uh, uh, all the projects are, uh, whether all the projects are mobilized, whether uh, like we are seeing some execution, uh, execution on the ground or is it like uh, some uh, communities are pending for those projects? Yeah, so, so it will be around 9,000 crore is under execution. Uh, which excludes the 7,000 uh, all crores uh, order that we have back in this fiscal year. Plus, on the other projects also, the mobilization is on. So, like, you know, this 3,600 crores of mobilization has already started taking place. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Those are my questions. And the supply for future, just in case if I have few questions, I will rejoin the queue. Sure, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Parvez Kazi from Nuama Group. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, good afternoon, and thanks for taking my question. Uh, so my first question is uh, regarding CAPEX. You said we'll have maybe about 150 to 180 crore of CAPEX this year. Uh, what kind of CAPEX can we foresee for a 25 considering the TBMs, etc. Will, will probably come then? Yeah, so like, you know, uh, for 25, as we told, like, uh, the TBM partly should be delivered. So, uh, and like, you know, uh, I think 25 will see a capex amount-wise of around 
repeated molecules. Sure. Uh, and uh, would be great if you could uh, give us uh, status of some of our major projects like the metro lines that we are doing in Bombay, Sudat, etc. While, while we know the order book figure, but uh, in general, how is the execution, etc. progressing? So the Metro Line 3 uh, is 90% completed uh, and the, the department is planning to open the first phase by uh, Jan Feb uh, coming here. Uh, and Metro Line 9 is almost 50% completed. Metro Line 2B is 40% uh, completed. Metro Line 6 from Andheri West to uh, Pawai is 70% completed. And uh, Navi Mumbai Metro is 100% uh, completed, which will be inaugurated now very soon by Honorable PM. Pune Metro is almost 95% completed. And Delhi Metro also, like the work is in full swing, and we have done 16% of the project uh, revenue got. And like you know, South Surat Metro, 31% is completed. Chandigarh Shambhu Link Road is like 90% plus completed. Shivri Varli, which is a connector from Coastal Road to MTHL, is 60% completed. And Dwarka, uh, package one and two of uh, Delhi is around 77% completed. These are some of the major projects what I have highlighted. Sure, sir. Thanks and all the best for future. Thank you, Parvati. Yeah. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Shravan Shah from Dollar Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, sir, these uh, uh, 1640 crore L1 uh, projects. So broadly, uh, when we expect, uh, when can we expect the LOA? So LOA should come in another. Uh, like uh, we expect the LOA to be there in next month only by November. Okay, okay, by November uh, itself. Okay, uh, got it. Uh, second, sir. Uh, uh, on, on the uh, this number, uh, uh, just to again uh, 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 verifying the number unbuilt revenue. I think when I ask, you said 454, and then you said 555. So uh, can you uh, three numbers? Can you uh, uh, again uh, verify mobilization advance, retention money, and unbuilt revenue? Uh, Chavan, uh, first of all, you have not asked unbuilt revenue. Okay. So unbuilt revenue is 555 crores. Okay. Okay. And Mobilization advances. is? Retention money receivable is 274. And more? Mobilization advance uh, is 445 crores. 445, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, got it. Uh, yeah. Uh, mostly is done. Yeah, thank you and all the best. All right. Thank you. Participants who wish to ask questions may please press star and one at this time. The next question is from the line of Abhijit Periwal, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, hi. Uh, congratulations on a very strong order and flow. Uh, I wanted to understand uh, if you could elaborate on the PSL exposure first. Yeah, sure, Mr. Abhijit. So, like, uh, PSL is like, you know, uh, we are bidded for this NCLT project of PS, uh, PSL. So, this is like, you know, we were bidded for 106 crore uh, for this project. And, like, uh, this is a small gestation period wherein, like, you know, we see upside of around 40 to 50 percent in this. And uh, 12 to 18 months, the project will be done. So, we have uh, availed the facility of 90 crores of funding uh, separately for this. Uh, and, like, you know, this repayment will be done to the sale proceeds of the assets, uh, this is without impacting the liquidity of the company. So, you know, this is this is like just one other project for us, which will add up to the bottom line. Okay, okay, great. And, uh, sir, I understand that uh, over uh, some time now, the TBMs will get free. Uh, any prospective underground projects that you are looking at uh, to bid in the near future? Uh, first of all, Mr. Abhijit, the TBMs is not getting free now. Rather, we have... Utilized, uh, we are utilizing the TBMs in this new project, uh, like whether it's Surat, Delhi, or Line 9, all the three locations, they're utilizing the new TBMs. So this will take like another two years, one and a half years for the TBMs to get through. So, uh, and of course, we are also bidding for new projects, uh, 
of underground metros also wherein like you know this tbm can further be reutilized so uh, you see like you know, this is some of the tbms are used uh, on third or fourth project is that way so we have really turned the assets yeah yeah no so if you can tell me what are the prospect of underground metro projects that you might build in the new future i think maybe that could help yeah so um, there are a lot of projects coming in mmr also and outside mmr also mmr uh, there are people project coming from river uh, like thane divandi so there is one underground there so one is one again is from uh, gpo to uh, this is line level underground and uh, one more will be from uh, this thing uh, domestic to international uh, new mumbai so there are a couple of projects in mmr plus uh, like we are already bidded for uh, we are already bidded for gopal uh, project that is underground and there's some more coming up in other states and we will be will be will be bidding for this underground as well where the tbm to be used like okay okay and final question sir is uh, regarding this varsava daiser uh, uh, the whole project which is there when are the bids expected to be done So uh, the, uh, already the pre-bid has happened, and we expect by the uh, end of this week or next week's maximum, we should be seeing the common set of deviations. The pre-bid replies been uploaded by the corporation, and uh, so in this month for sure, my I'm very hopeful that we'll be bidding for this verse of order, sir. So uh, the bidding should happen by uh, November. End of November. November. and uh, uh, you would be bidding so i think there is 16 to 20000 crore worth of projects so how many Sorry? projects are you look the, the total project size is i think 16000 six packages are there so yeah how many are you looking to bid yeah so it is around 18000 crore is the value of these packages yeah and we'll be bidding for this for sure so we are hopeful of bagging uh, some order book from this area as well we are very hopeful on this Okay. 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 Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abhijit. Thank you. 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 and operation and maintenance which is for the ten, uh, period of 10 years will be getting paid another uh, like 350 crores for it and there are some other items also but as of now we can just take this uh, at db so operation is the onm is uh, separate for it it's on top of it okay yeah Fine. And then uh, the second thing to you given a great guidance for the order book of around 16000 odd crore and uh, if we do the revised working like reverse working the inflow comes out around roughly like 9000 odd crore kind of inflow in this year and uh, based I'm on what you will tell louder uh, mr vishal because uh, we missed your question yeah, is this is this better yeah yeah yes. yeah, yeah so uh, what i was saying is uh, we have given the order book guidance of around 16000 odd crore which we have revised upward And uh, if you do a re- uh, reverse working in this order book, inflow comes to around nine thousand odd crore in FY twenty four. And uh, based on year till date inflow in L one, we are almost uh, touching like nine thousand odd crore in this year. So uh, I think we are bidding for a couple of projects, and then uh, pipeline is also heavy. Uh, so I mean, uh, isn't that our guidance is little bit on the conservative side uh, on this front? Yeah, it is uh, on conservative side, but like you know, uh, we believe we, uh, like when the project comes, it's better to say that because right now the L1 project will be converted to orders, and then we are bidding for this. And like you know, in this process, maybe because of elections, some uh, of the new coming tenders may go a month here and there. So it's better like when the uh, inflow is in today. So sixteen thousand itself is a good number, uh, which is up up uh, about uh, rise of thirty percent from twelve thousand what we initially. Q1 we have guided, and till you submit the tenders, because there is a lot of process that happens before the submission and post uh, uh, submission. There is evaluation, bid opening, so that's the reason why we are not really counting any major chunk of order coming in from the new pipeline uh, bids that we will be submitting. So it's uh, it's a safe and conservative figure that we are given to. You. Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, that's all from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you
Before we take the next question, we would like to remind participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Arpan Rathod from Think Invest. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my question is regarding the uh, bank limits. Uh, so, what would be the average cost of fund based debt and non fund based debt? So it's uh, almost 10% for the fund base, 99% 90, 90, 90, 90, 90%. 90, 90% for the fund base, and for non fund base, it's around 1% for BG Commission. And uh, does it hold good for the new sanctions which you mentioned some time back? Mm -hmm. uh, the, for the new sanctions, whether it will be better or not? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, sir. So that would also be in the same range, right? Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, uh, our banking team is uh, trying their best to negotiate on these values. Yeah, because that would be a huge impact uh, on the finance cost if we can better those terms. Yeah, yeah, we are applying for an upgrade also. Uh, so let's see if we get that, like you know, that will uh, be a good impact on those numbers. Okay. Uh, my second question is uh, particularly on ROC, considering that a uh, huge amount of capex is involved, which will entail uh, higher debt levels. So, what what is the ROC level which we can expect going forward? So, uh, FY23 we were at 17.6 percent, now we are down to 6.5 percent or so. Uh, ROC because obviously uh, once your debt increases and all. But uh, overall, uh, considering our uh, uh, EBIT numbers and all going forward, uh, we, we by FY27 when we reach our uh, $1 billion revenue or so, we should be around in the range of 20-21% or so. Okay, that's good. Uh, th uh, my uh, Another question is on the coastal road project. Uh, is that project started or it still uh, will take some time? You're talking yeah, so about the one which is under execution. So, yeah, the coastal road Sitco project, what you're saying, is like, you know, the MOF clearance from Delhi has been received last week only. So, luckily, okay. like, you know, all the clearances are there. So, I think another two weeks, they just need to take a confirmation from the court and the project will be started. So, by, I, I think another one month by December, the project should start. Okay, that's great. All the best for the future. Thanks. That's it. From my Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Nikhil Kanodia from HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for your follow-up opportunity. So I had one uh, clarification. So uh, on, uh, the order input that you have given in your presentation is uh, FITD24, uh, correct? Uh, which which would mean that it includes the 530 crore order that you have one in Q3. Uh, sorry, Mr. Nikhil, can you just repeat it, please? Yeah. Uh, so, so, so the order input that you have uh, given in your presentation of uh, 7,200 crores, uh, that is FITD, right? So that would uh, include the 530 crore that you have won in Q3 as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're right. You're right. Okay. Uh, and so what would be the, uh, what would be Jai Kumar's share in that? What is our share? Yeah. So our, our share of uh, amount only, 530 crore. So this 17,200 uh, is all our share, Jai Kumar's share. Okay, that's your share. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Shravan Shah from Dolat Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, sir, this uh, 431 crore uh, military hospital uh, that we received in Lucknow, uh, so it has a uh, ONM uh, component also, uh, which to be executed over 60 months and the is 30 months. So just broadly, if you can help us, what could be the uh, ONM value? Uh, yeah, I think ONM value is around 16 crores. I'm not very sure, but it's a very minor. Uh, it's oh, well, okay, 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 okay. That's the only, but it, it is a very small, not the uh, larger 20, 30% of the value. That's the uh, only thing wanted to clarify. And second, sir, considering uh, though uh, uh, we are not uh, saying that, uh, or, or rather we are not counting any major order inflow uh, this year, uh, so till March. But uh, for if I if I look at from now onwards to FI 25, so there also one can uh, uh, look at uh, eight nine thousand crore kind of order inflow. Uh, that's the uh, way one can look at. Let's <coughs> hope mm -hmm. yeah, so for the best, sir. This is what I will say. Okay. 
ओके ओके थैंक यू सो थैंक यू सो मच पार्टिसिपेंट्स हु विश टू आस्क क्वेश्चंस यू मे प्लीज प्रेस स्टार एंड वन एट दिस टाइम as there are no further questions i would now like to hand the conference over to mr kamal gupta for closing comments yes uh, i would like to extend thanks to each and uh, all uh, for joining us on this call today we sincerely hope that we have been able to address your query if you have any further questions need clarifications or wish to share feedback please don't hesitate to reach out to our cfo or our dedicated investor relations team Thank you once again for your time and participation. Thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of J Kumar Infra Projects Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.